Okay, so this video will show you how to create an eBay affiliate account and an eBay developer account. Now for Fresh Store, you need both of these things to integrate with eBay. The affiliate account is here on partnernetwork.ebay.com. You can also just Google that eBay partner network and the developer account is on here, developer.ebay.com. This account will track your sales and pay you the commissions on the sales you make for eBay. This account will let you access their products and the database and get the information you need to put in your store. Of course, your store handles all that, but we need a special uh, token, a special bit of uh, data or, or whatever you call it, API key to link your store with your account. So that's why we need two accounts. And before I go through this, then just keep in mind these things do change a little bit. So when you're watching this video, there should also be a, a training guide with some screenshots and things. So if this video seems different to what you're experiencing, this is August 2020 now. If it's different, then have a look at the guide because we might update the guide with some screenshots and things uh, when it updates because it's easier to do that than a video. Um, so yeah, keep an eye on that. So first things first, go for the partner network first and make sure you do both these at the same time because you need to wait for them to approve you. So go to sign up, partnernetwork.ebay.com and yeah, click here, sign in with eBay. If you have an eBay account already, you can just log into it and then it will create an account from there. However, I'm gonna assume you don't, so we're gonna say, click switch account. This is probably what you're gonna see. Um, I'm gonna continue with a Google account and I'm just gonna use one of my, my Google emails um, to sign up. Now I can't remember if this approves you right away or you have to wait. Let's see. And if you have to wait, it's normally just a day or two. Okay, it's asking for some information. So get all your information in here. Uh, the account display name. Um, just put in your name, put in your address, all that kind of thing. I'll just fill this out quickly. Currency. Um, yeah, this is how you're gonna do it. So. Um, you know, it's, it's better to be, to be accurate. So we'll say, um, where are we shopping comparison and yeah, we'll put email in there as well. And we'll say websites, social networks, put one of your websites in here. Um, so they can see what's going on. Um, And then away we go, choose social networks that you're, you're promoting on, give them some links. I'm gonna turn that off just for speed, but do fill out as much of this as you can. I've already done this with one account, you see, so I don't wanna put all my information in again. And it's probably gonna say, okay, we need a phone number. Uh, it's probably gonna say that it's waiting for approval after we've done this step. Yeah, it's under review. So it take a couple of days, uh, maybe at the most, um, but you still have your account, you can still be logged in and you'll get an email when that's done. So the same thing for the developers program. It's a different account. So um, you have to register all over again. You need a, a, a new username. Um, so let's go through that again. Email. And it will ask you for some details, same as before. And let's see that text, three, four, seven, four. Oh, I already have that email, oops. Um, I already signed up for that one. New code four two zero three eight three. Okay, so it's going to ask you to confirm your email. Um, once you've done that, it's going to say it's waiting for approval for a couple of days. So we'll come back to that, and I'll show you the next step after you've done these. Okay. Okay, so it actually was really quick for them to approve the 
eBay Partner Network account. So that approved within a few minutes. And the developer account didn't approve. I'm sure that's gonna take a couple of days. So this is my existing developer account. I'll show you this first. So in the eBay Partner Network, this is where you get a tracking ID, which tracks your sales and commissions. So all we need to do in here is go to campaigns at the top. Um, and by the way, all your sales will show in here. Sorry, I'm going back there on the home page, and you can go to reports up here. This is a brand new account, so nothing's showing, but it'll show your sales and things in here. So it's worth going back in and your balance up there. Um, but yeah, all we need to do to get started is to go to campaigns and it's created a campaign ID for you already. What this is, it's a little bit of code that will track all the clicks and will register them to your account so you get credit for the sales. We need this. I recommend that you create a new campaign for each store so you can see which store is making the sales. Uh, that's what I do, but if you want to keep it simple, then you just need to copy that. Um, and we go into our store. So in my uh, trusty Wheel of Shark store, this is the eBay settings page, um, link to the guide and everything here. And that first thing goes into here, eBay tracking ID here. So paste that in there. Um, and the next bits come from the developer account. So I already have mine set up here. All you need to do is click on request another key set here or request. I'm not exactly sure how it will look, but it'll be a little bit different to this, but you'll have to request and then you'll have an app ID here. You need the app ID, copy that out um, and put that in the top field here. Your eBay network ID, keep that as the default, your locale, whatever that is for your store, whether it's UK, USA, and then you need an eBay user auth token here. So we get that by clicking on here, user tokens, And then we sign in here and it gives you that code. So if I sign into production, um, sorry, let me go back. This is one thing that you just got to make sure the environment is on sandbox. And also when we go back to the beginning as well, make sure you're on production. Wait a minute. Yeah. Make sure you're not in sandbox, you're on production. So when we click on user tokens, what did it say? Yeah production, we need to be on production. Um, so yeah, that's fine. Click sign in um, on this default one here, uh, auth and auth, sign in to production, and we need to sign back into our eBay account. Um, I'll just sign into one of my defaults here. And we grant application access. It is a little bit complicated, but there we go. Um, that's the code you need. So copy that code out and put that in to your eBay user or token here. And that's it, that's done. Once you've done that, uh, save and test, it should tell you that everything is working fine um, on your store. Nothing was changed on there. And then just go and do a quick search for eBay products and everything should be fine. If you need help with it, contact the help desk, we'll be happy to help you. But just follow through those steps. It does seem a little bit complicated, but just follow through it step by step. Um, and you'll get that, no problem. Okay, also, as I said at the beginning of the video, have a look on this page in case anything has changed or if there's anything that we're highlighting um, that might help you on this page if you're getting stuck. All right, thanks for watching, cheers.